What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is 10 degrees outside of the uh, of the mystery room. It's actually a bit cold in here. Have to do the video in here. It's just too damn cold outside. 10 degrees Fahrenheit in case you're curious, but we're back with the Discovery Sport. I haven't done one of these uh, facelifted ones yet. I didn't even know they got a facelift. This one's got a little bit newer interior design, so we're gonna check that out today. Guys, if anything deserves a 10 out of 10, it's this jacket that I bought from, uh, from yeah, these guys. They call it the Black Label. So it's like a monochrome little badge on here. We got real coyote fur. Uh, with this jacket, I am not cold outside, or at least the areas that this covers, like my abdomen and upper body, not cold at all. So 10 out of 10. For this jacket right here it uh it hurt my wallet to buy but holy hell is it worth its weight in gold good jacket 10 out of 10. anyway sorry about the shameless flex let's check out the uh disco And let's check out the front. Love this new uh, steering wheel, by the way. Again, I didn't even know they put these in the newer Discovery Sports, but that is a good looking steering wheel. So far, no squeaks in the back. Let's see how the front does. I did Discovery Sport almost two years ago, a year and a half ago, and it did quite bad. I can put a link to uh, to that video in the description or put one of those little uh, cards on the top. So let's see how this 2021 does. Comparing it to the uh, pre-facelift version, let's see what we're working with here. In case it's not clear on the mic, that is not a creak. That is my finger rubbing against and sliding, sliding against the panel. So in case it comes up on the microphone, this microphone, by the way, is very sensitive. It's a directional microphone. So just want you guys to be clear. That was not a squeak. That was just my finger rubbing.
All right, now let's do the button test. And that's about it. Time for the final button. Oh, I forgot. Key battery is low. We gotta do this kind of thing here. Give me one second, guys. Oh yeah, we got it. We got it. Let's turn the fan down a little bit, though. There we go. I do like these new controls, actually. Not too bad that heated steering wheel on oh yeah oh yeah let's get a warm up in here anyway how did it do wow guys to my surprise um i don't know if it's just because this car is so new it's only got 2900 miles almost 3000 miles so it did actually very good as far as fit and finish goes i am impressed it's definitely an improvement over the pre-facelift car it wasn't perfect though there were a couple little tiny spots here and there but wow much better than i thought it would be this is almost as good as the uh, new defender i did that car actually got a 10 out of 10 because uh no squeaks everything was rock solid in that car this is almost there but not quite so i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for fit and finish which again i'm blown away by i didn't think i'd be giving it that score since the last discovery sport did uh, quite poorly as far as the materials go this is pretty consistent with the other one I did. I'm not sure what I scored that car. Um, I mentioned this before in some other videos, you may recall. The soft touch material they use, this is kind of like a almost organic feeling, like post-consumer recycle material, whatever. Doesn't feel that luxurious, honestly. I don't like the texture. It does feel cheap to me. Maybe to some people it doesn't. At least it's not rock hard. Continues over here. Again, I don't like it. And then it's got the stitching and stuff. These lower parts, this is rock hard plastic. Same with down here. I know the damn camera doesn't want to focus down here or adjust the ISO and shutter speed to uh, show a bit of better light down there, but that's all hard plastic, like really kind of in the lowest parts of the car. And the... Uh, rear center console here rock hard plastic not a fan but then this car is only like 50 grand so not the most expensive Land Rover product I know the sports and the uh, full-size Range Rover come with much nicer uh, soft touch materials we do have a leather steering wheel though which is nice don't know how I feel about the uh, piano black plastic looking stuff we got leatherette seats Eh. Okay, I wish it was leather, but again, this is one of the cheaper models. Everything around here seems okay. The headliner is cloth. Sun visor is crappy plastic. I wish they could have just made it cloth like the, uh, like the headliner. They could have done that one extra step, but they chose not to. Wow, even this feels a little bit cheap now that I think of it. One other thing I want to point out on the outside that I just noticed like offhand. 
is uh, we got a little bit of trim right here to sort of barely coming loose. I don't know if this is the previous owner or if it shriveled up because of the cold. I found it just like this. I didn't pull it out just to show you guys, you know, oh wow, look how cheap it is. And then I noticed in the footwell, this was uh, exposed right here. It's a cutout, and then you can see the foam insulation of the car. I don't know if these are all like that from the factory or if it's just this car. But I noticed that looks uh, a little bit on the cheap side. So as far as materials go, not my favorite. Not too bad either. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 for, uh, for the material score. I'm also giving the last car that I did, the BMW 3 Series, a 5 out of 10. I know I said 6 out of 10 in that video, but honestly looking back, 5 out of 10. So in case you guys are not clear, if you're coming from the BMW uh, 328i video, that car is 5 out of 10 for materials. Same as this car. So there you guys have it. 9 out of 10 for fit and finish, 5 out of 10 for materials for this car. Let me know what you guys think. Alright guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace.